Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am doing this makeup tutorial and first impressions video using Sugar Venom Cosmetics. I was lucky enough to receive a beautiful package from these guys. So they are Australian made and packaged. They're based in South Australia. They're 100% vegan. They are 100% eco-conscious as well. Beautiful clean ingredients as well in their products. Um, yeah, it, they're just a natural makeup but on the glam side of things. So I jump straight into it now and I am using, this is actually not a Sugar Venom product, sorry there is a couple that aren't Sugar Venom because I don't have a whole range to do a full face from Sugar, Sugar Venom. So I chose some of my few favourite products to add in. So I'm just priming my face, I'm using Walita Skin Food for this one and I'm just buffing that over. So this little package here is actually their, um, their foundation trial kit. So these are the three of their darker shades. And these are their three of their lighter shades. So you can pick and choose which one's perfect for you before you decide to purchase a full big one. And for me, because I do make up on people as well, it's a good little collection to have so I can use on other people. So here is how I personally test to see which one is a true colour. It's good to use three shades because one's going to be too light, one's going to be perfect and one's going to be too dark. So it's good to really make sure that you're doing the perfect match. So as you can see the top one's not quite right, the bottom one's not, the middle is the most one that blends in with my skin, so the least one that you can see. So I believe that one was sand that I used. So I pumped that on the back of my hand, warmed it up and now I'm dotting all over. And I'm using this little face sponge here. This is actually what came in that little foundation um, sample kit as well. So I slightly have dampened that and I'm using that to blend the foundation all over. So I don't intend to use a sponge um, that much anymore but I wanted to give this one a go because it did come in the kit and I used to use them, then I've stopped, then I've used them, then I've stopped. I find that it um, creates a very nice sort of thin layer of foundation but these this foundation is probably one of the most more fuller coverage foundations that I do have. So I've applied that, as you can see, all over doing dabbing sort of motions as well. You don't want to swipe too much with this blender. So blending all over. So yeah, so I'm letting this layer blend, um, sorry, this layer leave in for five minutes and then I'm going to apply another thin second layer. I find that with natural foundations you do have to apply a second layer to get that full, full, full coverage. So that was the first time I trialled that little that kit and I actually thought that was really perfect to, to get the perfect colour match for you. So this is a really cute little added lip lip here. Um, it's a beautiful lip balm in mango. I actually won this off Facebook so thank you so much for that. Okay so here are their contouring and highlighting cream sticks. So as you can see the one on the left is the contour and the one on the right there is the highlight. So the highlight is in satin and the contour was malt and that second one there was the darker shades and that highlighter was cinnamon and the darker one was caramel. So the very first time of, as well I was using these ones I couldn't, I love a good cream contour and I haven't actually used one for a long time I've just been using a powder contour. So this is a beautiful cooler toned um, contour stick for my skin. The formulation was really really creamy and as you can see in a little bit really super easy to blend in. Next I'll be highlighting with their highlighter cream stick here. This is in satin. So I did find the formulation a little bit more dry than the contour. So you did have to press a little bit harder, but I didn't realise how unbelievably powerful this highlighter was. As I was blending, I was like, woo, this is shiny. So I, I, I think for the next time I will put a little bit on sort of my finger and just sort of pat it into my skin a little bit lighter. But I do, did go over it later with a powder to set it all over and that did calm it down ever so slightly. So this is a beautiful... Um, sort of white pearlescent highlighter. So just then as well I used the cleaner side of that sponge there to sort of sharpen up the edge of that contour where I maybe have put it down a bit too too far. So we're still just blending in that um, contour there and now blending in the highlighter. So I'm using a clean side of that to blend that in. 
So like I said before, the formulation to the highlighter was a little bit drier than the um, contour. So I did find that I had to use a little bit more force with it. But a beautiful colour. So now I'm taking that same contour and I'm actually going to contour my nose ever so slightly. Using that same um, sponge, face sponge there. So now I'm just using an empty naturals powder and ivory fair and I'm going to set that all over. So yeah, I don't have a powder with um, sugar venom yet and I don't think they've actually got one out yet. So now I will be priming my eyelids with their eye primer. And I'm actually using this to help carve out my eyebrows. So I did my eyebrows off camera. I'll leave a link down below on how I do them. And I was using MG Naturals Brow Styler for that one. So I use a brush to put most of the product on and use my finger to sort of blend in the rest. And using that same powder as I used before just to set that in. So this is actually an old product, so I, this isn't the first time I'm using this one. Um, I actually had bought this one, this is probably one of the first purchases I did buy from these guys. So we're blending that in that crease there, as that a transition shade. Now I'm applying this beautiful copper, sort of copper orangey brownie shade, and that's got a slight shimmer in it as well, and I'm applying that with a flat brush all over my eyelid. I was a little bit unsure using a uh, mineral eyeshadow um, in, a, in a pot again, but honestly, if you use a little bit of the product and dip it in the lid, it's really not too messy. And the pigments honestly are so strong, as you can see, when they're in a powder form like this. Like there's yellow, yeah, look how beautiful that, that color is, and how pigmented and smooth and even, oh, really easy to work with. So I'm just going to highlight now, and this is with the MG Naturals product. I don't have one of their um, Sugar Venom sort of lighter eyeshadows. They ha do have a really awesome collection of eyeshadows. I can't wait to get my hands on some more. So I'm using their um, mascara. Again, this one is actually an old product that I got a while ago as well, but I wanted to keep the theme of as much Sugar Venom products as I had on. So top and bottom I put that on. This is a beautiful just a very nice black mascara so I can't believe it took me this long to try these lashes so these are the lashes blossom just showing you the packaging here really awesome packaging really classy and elegant on the back it gives you a guide on how to apply them and here's it already done sorry I tried to, I did film it but it just did not get into the camera so I trimmed them and I used the glue that came with them it's actually a non-toxic glue and all I can say is positive about these lashes. They were beautiful and fluffy. So I've applied um, a little bit of contour powder, blush and highlight using my MG Naturals one. So I've done that off, off camera. And now to try the beautiful lipstick. I was so excited when they launched their lipsticks out and then I can't believe I received them in this package. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much Sugar Venom for sending this. So also I should say this isn't sponsored video but I was lucky enough to receive a lot of these products. And I'm giving you my honest opinion about them. I would never ever lie and I would never use a product I don't love. Um, and just the fact that they're like all the goodness that ingredients that are in them and cruelty free and yet you pretty much can't go wrong. So this lipstick here was in the shade Jelly Wine and the formulation was beautiful, creamy, applied really easy. The pigmentation in it was perfect, no patchiness. Um, and their lip gloss, oh my god, the pigment in these just by themselves is ridiculously awesome. So this is in Cherry. So I just wanted to try a few more, so I added that, that lip gloss in. And here is the fish and finish, oh, finish, finish. Here is the finish look, and I hope you enjoyed this video.